Even this pouring rain is trying to warn me. Not that I have no choice. I'll keep going back. For now. And then I'll leave Rosebury Lane forever. I deserve a better life. I'm back. So I see. The prodigal daughter has returned. Prodigal? What? How is my beautiful Lorelei? Well, I had a weird day. I bathed an old lady been kissed by a ghost. And I will die tonight, someone's told me. Those old ladies always talk bollocks like that. Bloody mental, aren't they? Want to talk about it? Maybe later. I'm starving, and I stink like a dog. Well, you know where the bathroom is. But then I want to hear about today, yeah? Wait. Is that a black eye? Did he hit you again? Don't be silly. I tripped on the carpet. It's no big deal. Where is he? It wasn't him. He's in a pub, isn't he? Yes, it's John's night out. Like every Monday. You know that. It seems like for John, every day's a Monday. Ever since they closed down that stupid brick factory. He'll find a new job soon. Yeah. That's what he's been saying for what now? A year? Just let it go, will you? Please, be more careful, Mum. I will, babes. I will. But don't worry about me. I'm a tough old bird, me. You hungry? Like a wolf. I've left you some dinner in the kitchen. Go, fill up your tummy, grab a bath, and we can talk about it later, yeah? What's for dinner? It's chicken curry. Yum. Still raining. The bathroom in there. This little island of sanity in there is my room. It was my granddad's. This crying sounds awful. How can mother not hear it? Mother sleeps in there with that man and my baby sister.
What's my sister doing on the floor? Did she fall out of bed? Beth fell out of bed, and you didn't even notice. Sweet Jesus. She was on the floor? Yes, but don't worry. She'll live. So go and have another fag. A glass of sherry, maybe. Let's have a fucking party in here! Lorelei! Is Beth okay? Yeah. We're all okay, aren't we? We need a serious talk. You're just gonna nag again. Look... I know that things... got a bit out of hand the last couple of weeks. I admit, but... Mum, it's killing me. Don't be such a drama queen. There's no need for that. Can't you see what that man is doing to you? He saved this family when your father died and left us with nothing! That's what he's done. He's scum. He fought for this country. Can you even imagine the things he went through in Afghanistan? I'm sorry, but he's an addict, a thug and an unemployed piece of shit. And the only reason you're with him is that little fidget in your room, currently growing a nasty bruise on her tiny little head. It's not as easy as you think, Lorelai. No, it's very easy, Mum. Two simple steps. Step one, you dump John. Step two, we fix what's left of this family. You and me. I don't want to talk about this tonight. Don't walk away from me now, Mum. I wanted to watch a film. It starts in a minute. Now, go to the kitchen and have your curry. And please eat at the table like a civilized person. Mum. I do feel hungry, though. <laughs> Did they even eat anything today? Someone's been making cheese on toast. microwave food. Thanks for the effort, Mum. You're the best.
I might as well listen to Mom for once and eat at the table. Dad always made his own curry. Things were good back then. He never drank. He even quit smoking when I was born. When I was ten, we actually played Final Fucking Fantasy VII together, through to the end. I cried when Aerith died. We both did. God, I miss him. My little treasure. It never bothered me that I found it in the skip. Maybe now that I have a job, I can buy an iPod. But I'd still miss this old friend. Sylvia and me do not get along. She keeps taking my headphones. You alright, Sylvia? <laughs> nice headphones. But please ask me next time you want to borrow them, yeah? It's my bathroom towel. I leave it here in case John tries to use it. I used to love my long hot baths. Then John forbade us to lock the door. What did she call me? A prodigal daughter? Did the prodigal daughter come back to cry for forgiveness? Well, once I'm gone, I'm never coming back. Ever. Go away, can we through? They're both doing my head in, but I know what I need. Junkie brush. This music is the only thing louder than the screaming inside my head. Great. The batteries on the headphones are dead. I think there should be some spares in the kitchen. Gorgeous. 
You smell like a brewery. Nah, I only had a couple of pints down to the dog. But I bought a little bottle of red on the way back. Do you want some? No, thanks. Well, that's more for me then. What are you up to? Just getting some batteries. Batteries? Nah, well, it all makes sense now. What does? These, these uh, strange uh, vibrations every night coming from your room. These walls are thin, you know. They're for my headphones. No need to lie. It's very uh, normal. You know, when a girl like you gets to a certain age. But if you need any help, you know. <laughs> Pig. Voilà. Nothing but a stupid bitch. That's what you are. So call me Stop that. it. And shut your damn god woman. Do you know what the problem is? Hello? You. Bethany's nagging. crying again. Always nagging. So shut your stinking For mouth, will you? For fuck's sake, aren't you going to do something? I'm begging you. And what did I just say? You fucking deaf or something. Mother sleeps in there with that man and my baby sister. It's locked. I'm so glad you're here, babes. And I've got this splitting headache. And Beth screaming her head off again. Please tend to her for me, would you? I will, but I just can't find her. She's in there. Just go in.
What have you done? It's the wrong lever, Lorelei. Bethany! No. Zack? Morning, Lorelei. Do you know what time it is? It's like... six in the morning. Yeah, I... stayed up. I got something for you. What is it? It's... um... Well, they said it would rain today, so I thought I'd give you this. An umbrella? Yeah. I thought, well, you don't really want to get drenched on your first day of work. I love it. Thanks. I hope it brings you luck. That's very sweet of you, Zach. You really stayed up all night just to give me an umbrella? Nah, you know me. I do stuff at night all the time. Like what? All sorts of stuff. Programming, mostly. And other boring things like that. And I had like three episodes of Game of Thrones to catch up on, so I watched that. When do you sleep? I'll go to bed in about... two minutes. Lucky you. Right. I'm off. I don't want to be late. See you later, Zack. Lorelai? Yeah? Do you... Um... You know... It's... Uh, forget it. It's nothing. Really. Have a great day, yeah? Ch cheerio. Interesting. Leave her alone! I can't leave her alone. She's holding some fucking secret and I want to know it. She's not even got a scratch on her. Why don't you do us a fucking favour and die already? Dream. It was just a dream. Maybe I'm being too tough on Mum. I'll try to talk to her one more time. Mom, you okay? I want to be alone. Do you mind? Did something happen? No, nor am I. It's nothing. I just need a minute. Are you crying? No. My eye is still a bit sore. 
from the fall. I told you, didn't I? Actually, no. I'll tell you the truth. Do you want to hear it? Yes. I hate this life. I hate waking up to the sound of Beth crying. I hate John drinking all the time. He's drunk with the money we've had left till the end of the month. Did you know? We're broke. I hate this stinking old flat. I hate this bloody rain. Just raining all the time. I can't even take Beth out so we stay at home and she's bored and she's being a fucking nightmare. And <laughs> I hate your nagging. That disappointed face you make every time I feel shit. Yes, Lorelei. I even hate you. I'm moving out. And I'm taking Bethany with me. Don't you dare! I'll call social services if you try to stop me. And you know what they'll do. Is that right? Yes. You'd never let Beth go to a foster home. It's better than this stupid place. I'm her mother! Me. Not you, or anyone else! I'll give you one last chance. It's me or him. You decide. Dad always knew what to do. He'd have said, imagine there's a secret door right here in your room. in front of you, Lord. go yet. I don't blame you. It's probably the most beautiful place in the world. Right here. Give me one of your riddles, Dad. A riddle, eh? All right. Listen up. My mirror image is never that far. I have five different points, like a star. While I have no mouth that I can employ, I do make a song when filled with joy. What am I? Too easy, Dad. The answer is hand. You caught it. You are a clever young lady, aren't you? 
thought you were. You're gonna get well, Dad. I know it. Oh, lie. I saw it on TV. People beat cancer all the time. Well, optimize is a great oncologist, they say. So who knows? It's gonna be a hell of a ride, though. For Mum. And for you as well. But you're big enough to deal with it. I know you are. How can you deal with your dad dying from cancer when you're just 12 years old? Miranda! For fuck's sake! Come out and apologize to me right now! Miranda! Leave Mum alone! It's between me and her. So stay out of it. I said... Leave... Her... Alone! Sure. Your sorry ass mother has locked herself in the bathroom and refuses to talk. So I might as well have a drink and wait for it to come to her senses. I'm going away now. You happy? You will have a good chat about this when you come out, you stupid cow. Mom? Mom? You okay in there? Mom? It's not funny. Please, say something. I'm... I'm really getting worried now. Something's wrong. I can feel it. I need to get this door opened. But how? Mum's locked it from the inside. Maybe Zack will know what to do. Zack, my mom. I think something happened to her. What? Why? She was pretty upset tonight. We had a fight. Then I nodded off in my room, and that idiot John woke me up, banging on the door like a maniac. Mom locked herself in the bathroom, and I feel something's wrong. Like she's hurt or something. Please, Zack, I don't know what to do. Maybe... she just wants to be alone? No, I know her. She would just yell at me to go away. But she's saying nothing at all. That's not like her. Right. But what if she fainted? We need to call an ambulance. An ambulance? Let me tell you something about my family. We are scum. The flat is in such a state. If the ambulance comes, they'll see all that shit. Do you understand? They'll put my little sister in a foster home. 
and I'll never see her again. Shit. My mom is crazy. My stepdad is a stinking drunk who keeps perving on me. I heard he sells weed to kids at school. Yeah, I know. But you're not like them. Look. We're wasting time. Please, help me get the bathroom open so we can see if she's alright. Okay. We're gonna pick the lock. We just need a screwdriver and some wire. Alright. Sounds good. Have you ever done it before? Sure. Lots of times. In Skyrim. Are you sure he's not gonna wake up? No. That's the bathroom. Cool. Now I need a screwdriver and some wire. Like a paperclip or something. Wait. You don't have it. Um, no. I don't believe I do. Well, that's just great. I thought you were the lockpicking expert. An adept at most. But I can do it. I just figured you'd have a screwdriver at home. Most people do. Does it look like we do a lot of DIY around here? But wait. Dad had this cool Swiss army knife. I'm pretty sure it had a screwdriver in it. Can you find it? I think Mom put it away with the rest of his stuff. Hide in my room and wait for me. I'll go and have a look. Your room? Okay. Sure. All right. A screwdriver and a wire. Shouldn't be too hard to find. I can open it now. These are mother's clothes. I'll take her favorite cardigan. She always forgets to empty her pockets. Mother, let's search your pockets the way you've always taught me not to. What have we here? A hairband. A soaked Tesco's receipt. Partially dissolved cigarette. Another cigarette. Yuck. Mom's keys! Score! Everything that's left of Dad fits in that one dusty box. I can't reach. I need to get up on something. Zack, I found my dad's Swiss army knife, but 
But I don't think we have any paper clips. It doesn't have to be a paper clip. Just some wire I can bend and use as a lockpick. Yeah? There's a wire coil on the clothes peg I got from the laundry room. That might work. Show me. Yeah. This should do. Give me a sec. I'll try to get it out. Here we go. You happy with that? And? I think we do it like this. Shit! Dude! It broke! Well, thanks, Zack. I've searched the place up and down for all this stuff, and it's done fuck all. No, no! You know I would have done anything for you. There's... There's something else. Plan B. But first... Lorelei, are you absolutely certain that your mother is in there and that she's in trouble? Yeah. Then stand back. Don't do this, Zack. John is going to kill us. It'll be fine. I promise you. So this is what you've been up to, Miranda. Offing yourself, eh? <laughs> well, that's fine with moi. I was sick to death of you anyway. You just look at that bitch, ain't you? Here's one for the family album. Where's the camera? I want to capture this beautiful moment. Enough. And who the fuck are you? Leave them alone. Huh? All right. All right. Calm down, mate. You break my door, I'll break your fucking skull. You get it, mate?
My first job. I can do this. But I better hurry if I want to catch the bus and get there on time. <laughs>